Hey there YouTube, Andreas here with today's No Good a Daily Update, and you know today is Wednesday, but as you watched on yesterday's video, today I will teach you how to do something interesting, cool, and or unique. And today I learned an interesting, cool little trick online, so I'm going to teach you guys, the viewers, how to do it. After the popularity of my origami video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make almost an origami out of fruits. So we're going to go fruit carving, and we are going to make a swan out of any apple you want. Obviously, there's going to be a couple things you're going to need here, and obviously, the first one, obviously, is an apple. This golden forbidden fruit can be any apple of your choice, so whatever you desire, whatever you think is going to look cool, and maybe try mixing a couple apples together. You're also going to need a knife, but you don't going to want any butter knife, because these things are You are going to want some kind of kitchen knife and or paring knife, but I don't have a paring knife. But that is it, so let's get started. Now when you get your apple, you're going to want to twist off that little top bunch of thing that attaches to a tree and just throw it out wherever. Now you're going to want to take your apple, choose the side that seems the unevenest, and then try to cut the straightest line you possibly can, and this is going to make a good base for the fruit so it's completely level when it's on the table, wherever we go, and I had a sharp knife. Now you're going to want to take an eighth of an inch off again and save that. Make sure to make that straight also. Now you're going to want to cut to about two thirds of the way down, and this is very important. This is what you're going to be making the wings out of. So you're going to want to cut it very carefully, very gently. Maybe even make a couple of guiding marks because you don't want to cut too small, too short, too little because you can't take a second chance back at this unless you want to recut the apple. Now after you're done with that, peel it off. It should look like that. Now you're going to want to cut another as close as you can without breaking it to the edge. And I'll do that on the other side because you're going to want to put wings inside wings here. Now it looks cool with just two, maybe three, but you know what looks really cool? four wings. So you're going to want to treat this very carefully and get as close as you can to the edge and take your time. This honestly took me about five minutes per slice. Now you're going to want to take that second one you made off and cut another incision as close as you can to the edge and get in on the other side and try to get as close as you can again without cutting through the apple completely because I did that several times in practice. Now you're going to want to take that last little tiny sliver and try to get the smallest one you can here. Now on this side, I ended up not getting as much as I wanted to, so I just got a little bit of the tiny skin, but it still looks just as cool and just as great, and don't worry about it if you mess that up. Now you're going to want to construct it all together, and it should look something like this, just so you can kind of measure it out and see how it looks to you and if you like that style better. Now you're going to want to do that to the other side also. Bam, bam, bam. Now you have both sides done, and now everything's good, so now you're going to cut a little tiny wedge out of the front of the apple. Now this is where you're going to be putting the neck of the swan inside of the fruit. Now you're going to want to try to cut this without breaking it like I did right there, and once you get it all cleared out like that, you can kind of just work your way out and try to clear out most of the apple junk on the inside to make it deeper so the head neck actually stays up. Now this is the hard part. Now this is where you're, with the extra piece you cut off at the beginning, you are going to cut the swan's neck out of it. Now I am no sculptor by any means, so this was extremely difficult to me. But if you're better at sculpting or anything like that, you can try and make it look obviously way time, way, way, way better. Because this one turned out crappy, and I'm just going to cut off the little excess I did from there and put it in. And I've pretty much got a Loch Ness Monster apple now. Now you have it, and it's all done. You put the wings back on, and look how good that looks. It's just, it looks so good. And you know you would show this off to all of your friends, because they're all going to be so jealous. Now if you've done everything correctly and have better carving skills than me, you should have something that looks like an awesome little swan. And if it messed up, you still have an apple. Don't forget to check back again tomorrow where I answer your guys' questions from that land of procrastination. That thing. We all know what it is. I don't even need to say it anymore. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. It's here. I don't, I don't remember where it is. Like, go to my last video, watch my next video tomorrow, comment below, just do something.